Hey, I'm Jack Roberts. I'm executive editor with CCJ and Overdrive Magazines, and I'm here at WTI Transport's Tuscaloosa Terminal today with safety instructor Gene Sims. Gene's, Gene's going to show us how to, to secure a shotgun coil on a flatbed trailer. Now, some people like to cross their chains inside of this coil, and DOT regulation states that you can. But me, myself, I like the horseshoe. Gene, I see a lot of places I can loop a chain through there, but you just can't put it anywhere, can you? You always put your chain and hook it over the top, like so. And it'll stay when you pull it most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does. But if you hook it underneath, like so, you pull it, and sometimes it'll just come loose like that. But if it's over the top, it usually stays when you pull it. And really what I'm doing now is protecting the coil from the chain edge protectors, the metal edge protectors. You don't always need an edge protector under every chain because sometimes you can put one and it'll cover two gotcha. chains. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, Gene, you just ratcheted this down. How do you know you've got it tight enough, not too tight? Well, when it's not moving at all, that's tight enough. Now, this is exactly a simulation coil. It's sure. hollow. You don't want to tighten it up too tight because you'll bend the coil. Okay. But it's DOT regulation that you leave at least an inch here and an inch on this end. Okay. So that if you're traveling and you check your load, you want to be able to tighten it. Okay, because it is going to shift under It's going to settle, and yes. You're gonna, and you need a little leverage there so you can tighten it down after you're underway. Exactly. Got it. All right, you've got the chain through. It's secured on both ends of the flatbed. What do I need to know about staggering right now? Okay, what do you mean by staggering? Which is, you, it's not a DOT requirement that you stagger them. That's just something that I like to do and it seems like it's logical to me. Okay. A, a ratchet binder here on this side. Yeah. Then a ratchet binder on the back on the opposite end. And that will actually secure that coil, make sure it doesn't move either way. And vice versa, when you do the next chain, front, next chain, rear. So you're basically your, evening out the torque. Exactly. You want the torque situated across the Evenly. length of the coil. Evenly. Exactly. Coming through. You wrap it around the lower part of your binder, not around the ratchet part here. And Secure your bungee like so, and back to a link in your chain, and it's ready to go. Tell me, we've got how much weight we've got, and where we stand legally right now. Uh, 40, we got a 40,000 pound coil, and our co uh, chains are rated at 4,700 pounds, and you double that with the workload limit. So I'm going to put six chains on here. Four straps. So I'm, and our straps are rated at 5,200 pounds. So I'm going well over the limit. We sent it through, through the rail rail. A good reason for that being is if something comes sharp along and hits against your rub rail, it'll only hit the rub rail, never your strap. So you've never lost the securement. All right, so you're taking care not to twist the strap. You want it flush and flat against the surface of the coil. Don't yes, you? Okay. yes. I just like for drivers that I train to get in a routine of doing things the right and safe way of doing things, you know, and that's just the way that I was taught to do it, and that's the way that I find myself not getting claims for injury. <laughs> if, it, if it's binding up against this stake pocket right there, it will vibrate and cut your strap. This cheetah bar is the best cheetah bar, <laughs> and it looks real weird. You get so much leverage on it, and then you can actually take it and turn it like this, bam, and you back down again, get more leverage. Yeah. How do you know that they're secure enough to, to meet your standards? What do you look for? This is what I like to hear. 
and I know it's there to stay. Call it a guitar sound. Don't yes, you? yes, yes, there it is again. Let's sort of summarize. We've got six chains on the bottom, which meets our legal uh, limitations, but up top you've added a little more for the three of our families. That's right. Um, you'd be pretty happy with this load about to go. Sure, with. I would drive it anyway. I'd go to California with it.